started, uh, I ask that you mute your microphones during the presentation. Uh, we will have time towards the end to go over any questions or comments that you may have. Uh, there's also a chat on the bottom right uh, where you can add comments and questions as well. Thank you. Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for joining uh, the Uptown Area Street Improvements Project um, 2022 bond year three, contract 15. Uh, city project number 104316. Uh, my name is Christian Cardona. I'm the project manager for this project and also the person that will be presenting today. I'm with the Transportation and Public Works Department. Uh, with me, we also have some, uh, per, uh, some water department um, employees as well as the designer for this project. Um, before we get started, I would like to mention um, Anybody from the council district uh, nine would like any have any comments or questions regarding this project? Hi, no, no questions. I just wanted to thank TBW for hosting this and uh, sharing the information to our residents. Uh, thank our residents for coming out. Please uh, ask all the questions that you may have. But if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to our office or Mr. Cardona. We'll uh, be happy to help out during this process. Okay. Thank you for that, Anthony. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get started. So move on uh, to the next slide. So the purpose of the presentation is to provide uh, the project scope. Uh, what are the improvements of these, um, these, these improvements they are, and to ultimately seek any input from the community regarding these improvements. So here's the agenda that I'll be going over this evening. Uh, so we'll have the project overview, a uh, summary of the improvements of the project, the project schedule as a whole, and uh, we'll save it at the very last for any questions or comments uh, that you guys may have. So first off, we'll start, uh, start with the project overview. Um, so as you can see here, we have 10 streets, all bond for the streets. Um, so we have the project limits while I'll go over one by one. So number one, as you can see, um, Give me just a second on here. So as you can see, there's Belknap on the south end where my pointer is to kind of give everybody an idea of where exactly these streets are. And then you can see there's railroad tracks on the east end, the west end, as well as the east end uh, to kind of give an idea of where all the streets are at. Uh, so number one is East Bluff Street from the southwest dead end to the northeast dead end. Number two, we have North Hampton Street from Forest Street to East Belknap Street. Uh, number three, we have North Harding Street uh, from each, uh, East Peach Street to East Belknap Street. Uh, number four, we have North Hay Street from Johnson Street to East Peach Street. Number five, we have North Nichols Street from East Peach Street to Far Street. Number six, uh, we have Peach Street from the railroad tracks uh, to North Live Oak Street uh, from Far. Uh, on far, we uh, have from Nichols Street to North Hay Street. On Wall Street, uh, it will be from East Peach Street to Northwest Dead End. Uh, number nine, uh, Waterman Street from Northampton Street to North Hay Street. And 10 uh, will be Johnson Street from Northampton Street to North Hay Street. So these are the um, 10 streets that will be included in this project. Next, we'll go ahead and move on to the summary of improvements. So as you can see, these are the existing conditions of the streets. Uh, I'll start off on the left picture showing North Hay Street where there's a missing or damaged curb with sunken spots on the pavement. Uh, in the middle picture, you'll have Northampton Street showing damaged asphalt pavement with sunken, uh, sunken spots. Um, and on the right picture, you show, uh, you, you can see North Harding Street uh, with deteriorated asphalt. So these are the, the kind of existing conditions that's present um, today um, on certain streets. And then we'll go ahead and move on to the specific summary improvements of, of each street. So we'll start off with East Bluff Street. Um, so East Bluff will be getting water improvements and replacing the existing six inch water pipe with a new eight inch water pipe. For pavement improvements, we'll have new pavement with concrete curves new concrete driveways with 11 foot minimum width or match existing, uh, new five foot sidewalk both sides of the street. Uh, for the 
the summer improvements on Northampton Street. Uh, there's going to be quite a bit of utility work, um, specifically water improvements. We'll be replacing the six inch water pipe with 12 inch. We're replacing an existing 12 inch water pipe with 16 inch, and we'll be replacing an existing 24 inch water pipe that's in on Hampton uh, today. Uh, for paving improvements, uh, new pay, uh, we'll get new pavement with concrete curbs, uh, new concrete driveways with 11 foot minimum width, or match existing, and new five foot sidewalks on both sides of the street. Uh, for North Harding Street, uh, water improvements uh, will replace the existing six inch water pipe with a new uh, eight inch. For pavement improvements, a new, there will be new pavement with concrete curbs, new concrete driveways with 11 foot minimum width or match existing width, and uh, new uh, five foot sidewalk. So for the summary improvements of North Hay Street, uh, we'll be replacing the existing six inch water pipe with eight inch. Um, uh, for pavement improvements, we'll have a new pavement with concrete curbs, new concrete driveway with 11 foot minimum width or match existing width, uh, and a new five foot sidewalk. Um, for North Nickel Street, we'll be replacing the existing six inch water pipe with the eight inch. For pavement improvements, uh, new pavement with concrete curbs, uh, new concrete driveways uh, with 11 foot minimum width or match existing and a new five foot sidewalk on both sides of the street. The summary improvements for Peach Street, uh, we'll be replacing the, uh, the, uh, the six inch water pipe with a new eight inch. Uh, for pavement improvements, we'll have new pavement with concrete curbs, new concrete driveways with 11 foot <clears throat> minimum width or match existing, and new five foot sidewalk on both sides of the street. For Far Street, uh, we'll, we'll be just doing pavement improvements with new pavement with concrete curves, new concrete driveways uh, with them for minimum width or match existing, and new five foot sidewalk on both sides of the street. So for Wall Street, we'll be actually doing water and sewer improvements. Uh, so we'll, we'll be replacing uh, the existing six inch water pipe with the eight inch water pipe. Uh, for the sewer line, this goes through an easement in a couple of properties, so we're moving uh, that sewer line into uh, into Wall Street, so that that's going to be replaced with an existing uh, with the, with the new age sewer line. So for and uh, for pavement improvements, we'll be having new pavement with concrete curbs, new concrete driveways with 11 foot minimum width, and new five foot sidewalks on both sides of the street. For Waterman Street. Uh, we'll be doing water improvements, um, just water improvements. I'm sorry for this slide. Uh, we'll be replacing the existing six inch water pipe with the eight inch. Uh, for pavement improvements, we'll do the, the new pavement with concrete curbs, uh, new concrete driveway with 11 foot minimum width, and new five foot sidewalks on both sides of the street. Uh, summary improvements for Johnson Street. Uh, so we're replacing the existing six inch water pipe uh, with eight inch. Uh, we'll be pavement improvements. We'll do new pavement uh, with concrete curves, new concrete driveways with a minimum width, and a new five foot sidewalk. So these are some pictures that you see of uh, new asphalt pavement with concrete uh, sidewalk and curbing better. So this is what the street will look like after construction. So you can see on the left, on the left <clears throat> picture, you have a new pavement and concrete curb, as well as you can see on the right picture, you, can, you have a new driveway. Um, so this is what you can expect to see once uh, everything is complete. So you can see if there's additional uh, pictures showing on the left-hand side of the new concrete sidewalk. And on the right side, you can see a new um, ADA ramp uh, for pedestrians for intersections. So next we'll go ahead and move on to project schedule. So this is the anticipated project schedule. Uh, so we plan to receive 90% design plans in February of 2025. Um, we're hoping to advertise in January of 2026, hopefully to receive the bids from the contractors um, um, February 2026, 
and uh, get a council approval in March of 2026. Hopefully award the construction contract April of 2026 and begin construction early 2026 and hopefully to complete construction late 2027. Uh, so this anticipated project schedule is uh, anticipated uh, hope with, with, with hopeful that funding is provided for this project. So where can I get more information? So if you want to learn more about this project or if you want to keep up to date about this project, um, on the very first link, and I'll be providing these on the chat so any, everyone can just copy and paste or click and go straight to it. Uh, so the first link goes straight to the city project website where we do periodic updates during the design. Uh, once we get in construction, we do month to month updates to let the public know and the residents know about what's happening um, for this project specifically. And you can also go to the official website, which is the second <clears throat> link, uh, the www.fortworthtexas.gov, and you can simply enter 104316, which is the, the, project, the city's project number, and it will take you straight to um, the project website. Like I said, I will go ahead and copy and paste these in the chat once I'm done uh, so that you guys have the link straight to the uh, city's project website. And if you want to know additional information about the 2022 bond, um, here is the link below to find out additional information regarding that. Uh, this is another link that I will go ahead and put in the chat here shortly uh, so that you guys have information on, uh, or if you want to be provided more information on the 2022 bond. Okay, um, so that leaves it for questions and input. Um, so I'll go ahead and open up the floor uh, to anybody that has any questions or comments regarding this project. So at, at this time, if you have a question you'd like to ask, you can go ahead and unmute yourself. Alternatively, you can write your question in the chat box and we will get to it that way. So I just provided on the chat um, the the first link uh, showing the the exact link to the uh, the city's website. So feel free to copy and paste or go straight to the website. Okay, we do have one question in the chat. It says, "What street uh, is first to be completed?" Uh, David, at this time, uh, we're not sure of that. We will have another meeting. Um, We'll have another meeting once we get closer to construction and we have a contractor on board. And when we have a contractor, they'll provide us with a schedule of what streets are going to be completed in what order they expect them to be completed in. And we'll be providing that at that meeting. Uh, there's another question. I was late to the meeting. Can these slides be sent to us? Um, so the slides will be provided on, uh, we can upload them to the to the, the web page that Christian had linked. And also this meeting is being recorded. So it, this meeting will be uploaded to or the, the city's YouTube page and also linked on the city's uh, website that Christian provided. Yeah, that, that's correct, Tracy. So if, if you go to the first link that was included in the chat, it goes straight to the website. Uh, be, feel free to, to keep that or copy it somewhere. Um, after this, we'll be able to provide the recording of this meeting as well as provide slides on that specific uh, project website. Okay, there's another question. We have a sidewalk that is a liability. Uh, uh, it's all cracked now. Should it be fixed? Uh, should it be fixed now? Um, David, if you could please provide uh, which sidewalk uh, piece you're talking about, and we can look into it. Okay, we have another question from Reed. Uh, will Waterman Street now dead end into Hayes Street? If so, there is an unfinished section of Waterman east of Hayes that should be abandoned by the city and given to property owners. Um, Christian, would you mind going back to the map? So at, at this time, it does dead end. Uh, well, it, it does go past Hayes Street. I'm going to go ahead and uh, look up the wall. Is it Waterman? Give me just a second. I can get that put up here. I believe it was the very last slide. So as of right now, there is no existing improvements, I believe, on the 
east end of of Waterman. Um, I don't. We don't plan to do any pavement improvements on uh, that goes east of Hayes. So, so I guess Reed's question is: If so, there is an unfinished section of Waterman east of Hayes Street that could be abandoned by the city and given to the property owner. So the first question will Waterman Street now dead end into Hayes. Um, so Waterman does dead into Hayes, it's just undeveloped. Um, it's just uh, a grass or dirt area at this moment. Um, and you know, the part that's east of Hayes is still owned by the city. Uh, I don't think we have any plans of, as of right now, uh, abandoning that. Uh, thank you for for the suggestion, Reed. We will look into that. Um, I have another question from David. Will Peach Street open up to the neighborhood to the east again to Live Oak? Well, sorry, we oh. we initiate giving any right of way to owner. This needs to be uh, something that property owner needs to come to the city and submit an application for any vacation for any right of way. So we are not planning to put a street there. Um, the, it is, this is a bond project and we need to follow the bond limit. So the bond limit is to, to Hayes, doesn't extend beyond Hayes. Okay, thanks for that, Mary. Um, so uh, David's question is, will Peach Street open up to the neighborhood to the east again to Live Oak? Um, will Peach Street open up to Samuels again? Just a second, we go to Peach Street. So, no, I can tell you this was closed under an agreement with the railroad and Texas. We cannot go back and open it again. So that's why we did the Live Oak connection um, several years ago, and it was a grant project. So we, we cannot go back and open something. We already have an agreement to open the other side of Live Oak. So that will need to be stay closed. Yeah, and I believe it's is this the Samuels is the same situation uh, on the west end. I put the question about um Oh, so Samuel, I think Samuel is the same situation. This is, if we close the location, it's an agreement with the railroad. We cannot go and change our mind. It's not something the city can go back and change any time. This is a big process. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the, the last slide showing my contact information. Um, so feel free to jot down my phone number in my email if anyone has any additional questions after this meeting. Does anybody have any further questions? Like I said, feel free to unmute yourself if you would like to ask over the phone or place your question in the chat and we will get to it that way. Uh, the question uh, questions came in, how long would this project take? Um, so the um, we anticipate this, the construction of this project lasting probably a little over a year, um, but we're not sure just yet how long it will take. We'll know more once we get a contractor uh, under contract. Okay, I believe there's an, another uh, question about, did, did you say pending the project being funded? So uh, that that's correct. So, um, this is the anticipated schedule, um, assuming that the funding, um, that we get the funding for this project. I think David asked if uh, we could specifically email the recording or this presentation. Um, I would be... Uh David, I don't know if we can, that, the recording will be placed on YouTube, so uh, we can send you a, a link to the 
uh, to the presentation if you would like. Um, the, the presentation, if there's something in, that you that you want, if you'd like the slide or, or something, you can email Christian directly, and he can help you out with that. Okay, there's another question. When is it determined um, if this project is funded? Um, I'm going to let uh, Mary, would you mind jumping in on that one? So we have, we all these projects treat our bulk of the 2022 uh, bond. We have a little bit of shortfall in the bond. We still talking how we can cover the shortfall. This is one of the projects that fall under the shortfall we need um, so we can start the construction. How it is determined, we still in talk uh, with um, Timo office council and all of that. So. As of now, we don't know the mechanism for um, the shortfall to cover. This is not the only project we have. Several other projects that having shortfall need to be covered. Uh, that's why we said it's in early 2026 to start construction. So by mid next year, we should know how is that shortfall is covered. But it is in the bond uh, voted for, so they will be done. Um, the question is, where to get that shortfall from. So they were not going to be canceled. So I want to assure everyone, cannot cancel this treat. Again, mm -hmm. it's unvoted, it's part of the bond, so they will be done. The only question is that shortfall, how to cover it? And this is a question um, all the project is faced with the raising prices. So that is the only thing that's delaying it. Thank you, Mary. Uh, I hope that answers your question. Okay, I think we got another. Um, since we have a lot of elderly in the neighborhood, so this is from David. We have a lot of elderly in the neighborhood that I can share this with. Hey, David, if you want to shoot me an email, we can we can I can I can work with you to see if we can get some information to those elderly to make sure that they um, were provided this information. So feel free to shoot me an email. We can work together on, on providing uh, information about this presentation. And I believe Reed asked a similar question. I thought the funding was from 2022 bond package. Do you mean release of those funds for use? Um, I believe if Mary answered the question about there's a shortfall on the 2022 bonds, uh, funding and um, so as she mentioned, uh, so these are in the bond. They will be done. Um, it's just a matter of um, finding that shortfall to be able to uh, perform the construction portion of this project. So, so Rachel, to give you more context, when when we when we estimated this project to be bought in the 2020 bond, we did that estimate in 2020. So. Prices, we are in 2024. Prices 30, 40 percent higher than what we estimated for this project in 2020. So this is where the shortfall coming from, and that's where we need to find out how to cover this shortfall. Um, this is a higher question. We we are not the one answering it. We are the one only telling everyone we have a shortfall. And everyone knows that about it. It's not a new, like all the projects since 2020 when this all the bond was estimated having shortfall. But um, I mean, this we cannot cancel project. We are going to do it. But the reason of the shortfall, all the, I mean, everyone see it. Um, like even everything we buy now is more higher than 2020, 2022. So that is the issue we're having. Oh, there's a question from David. Will this include the gas street lamps like there is on Samuels? Uh, no, street lights are not part of this project. Now, I believe we missed a question from David. Um, so what about the spot? I'm guessing it's fire pipe of Texas commercial trucks uh, on the new roads. Um, if you're having concerns about commercial trucks during construction, um, 
we 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 can definitely coordinate with with uh, with you, David, uh, to ensure that we keep the route open for um, uh, these commercial trucks are provided alternatively. Go ahead, Mary. I, I, I think the question is about: Are we going to allow commercial truck on new roads? So I think how yeah. is that like that new road will handle that new trucks? That's a question, David. Right? That's your question. Yes. So his question <laughs> is: So we will design our street to handle the traffic load. Uh, for the trucks, it's not all the streets, so it's only um, what's that? Um, Hayes, Hayes, and Johnson. That that route. Yeah. Yes. So we designed them to handle this kind of traffic. It looks like there's another question: Will the streets be made smaller, or will they stay the same width? Uh, for the most part, there we're putting them back where we found them, so they'll be about the same width. Okay, any further questions or clarifications needed? And if, if you don't have you don't have any questions or comments at the time and or you forgot about the question that you were going to ask, feel free to write down my contact information. You can email me the question. We can uh, try to get the best answer to you as quick as possible. Um, also on the on the on the chat, um, if, if you go to the first link, the first link provides um, the direct uh, direct link to the official project uh, website. Um, so I, it's handy to keep just to keep updated on this project of where it stands now and throughout the life of the project. So um, feel free to copy and paste that link down. Any further questions? Okay. All right. If there are not any further questions, um, I appreciate everyone joining this evening. Um, like I said, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to email me. Um, thanks everyone for joining and uh, have a good evening. Thanks. Thank you team.